Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Brett Marsh from Spartan Metals, a company that has Tungstonia, a previous tungsten producing mine in the U.S., Nevada. Is that correct? That is correct. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, Tungstonia was in operation uh, in World War I, World War II timeframe, and basically went uh, dormant due to depressed uh, market conditions at the time. And uh, we picked it up just recently, and we're really excited about the potential for uh, tungsten exploration. Uh, at the time, it was one of the highest grade tungsten uh, mines in the United States. Uh, recent research has shown that it continues to be there as far as the resource goes. Uh, so we're very excited about the, the potential for discovery here. And speaking of discovery, you just commenced exploration program for the Eagle Tungsten Silver Rubidium project in Nevada. How's that going? Where are we at with that? Uh, it's excellent. Yeah. So we started essentially last week with uh, characterization of some of the historic tailings that were associated with the mill site from Tungstonia. Uh, that was a very successful program where we put in 34 holes. Uh, we're excited to get the uh, results, hopefully in a couple of weeks. We have been doing an extensive soil sampling program across uh, both claim blocks that, that make up the uh, Eagle project, which are Tungstonia and uh, the Reese uh, claim block, which hosts another uh, tungsten, uh, past producing tungsten mine as well. So those, uh, those samples will be going in very shortly. So we'll have a very active um, results and analysis and interpretation uh, set of activities to occur here within the next few weeks, months. So it'll be a really good time to have uh, putting out some additional good news. Well, it sounds like you're at the right place at the right time. Often I tell investornews.com audience members to go check out the CEO's background on LinkedIn. And in your case, you've had a lot of senior leadership roles at major companies. So can I get you to talk about yourself for just a minute? Uh, sure. I've, I've had uh, you know a lot of roles, as you, as you mentioned, with uh, juniors and majors in mining, as well as uh, uh, world-renowned consultancies. Right. So I, I did that to make sure I had a very broad and diverse background uh, so that I could actually serve in a, in a role like this with a company like Spartan. Obviously, you have a lot of experience in building teams. You just announced appointing Rebecca Ball as Vice President Exploration. I'm, I'm certain your standards are very high. So would you like to talk about Ms. Ball for a second? Sure thing. Uh, we were really lucky to get Rebecca. She's one of the uh, top geologists that I've ever worked with in the past. And uh, so when she was available, it was, uh, you know, uh, all, all um, full speed ahead, if you will, to, to get her on board. And she's actually... Uh, hit the ground running and is, uh, is even more enthusiastic than I am, if that's possible, about the project. And uh, so she's actually up at the site as we speak, um, you know, carrying out and supervising some of the work we just talked about. When you go to the Spartan Metals website, Brett, uh, you talk about a number of critical minerals in addition to the rubidium and uh, the tungsten. Can you tell us a little bit more about your projects? Yeah, for sure. So, you know, obviously Tungstonia is the foundation of, of, uh, of the company right now with the, uh, the tungsten and silver and, and rubidium uh, at, the, at, the, at the site. We also have, you know, in, in the portfolio, a second, a second group of claims that we call the Reese claim block, which hosts the Reese mine, which is not, as I mentioned before, is another past producing tungsten, tungsten project tungsten mine rather, but it also has in, in, the, in that claim block, the antelope mine, which is a past producer as well, which had very high reported high grade uh, copper up to about 4% and uh, almost a thousand grams per ton silver being produced from, from, that, uh, from that mine uh, around the same time frame as the production from Reese and Tungstonia. Uh, our recent sampling work that was done in 2024 and 2025, uh, you know, it showed us that we had not only the significant silver uh, and tungsten nearby, but we also had antimony uh, in some locations up to 5,800 parts per million, uh, arsenic up to about 4,000 parts per million, uh, along with uh, bismuth um, and, and and other very critical elements. If you take a look at, at the critical uh, import reliance for critical metals uh, within the United States, Tungstonia uh, and the Reese claim block actually have uh, at least 
uh, 12, or I'm sorry, at least 11 of the critical metals of, of the 50 that are actually being sought by the United States. So it's a very, um, it's very rich and well endowed um, project area. And we're very excited. Uh, we, we, we find something new, I think, that every time we look at a new piece of data or we go up there. So it's, it's, uh, it's very fun. Well, indeed, this is very exciting. Can you tell us what shareholders should be looking forward to in the next quarter? Yeah, so we, you know, as I mentioned, we're going to have the results that come out from from the drilling program um, and, and pro progress uh, that that with uh, the tails, as well as metallurgical testing that we're going to get from the waste rock and the tails that will really let us know what we can what we can recover uh, from those uh, from those assets. But then it'll also give us an indication of of what we can expect at Tungstonia when we actually get in there and start drilling and doing uh, some some uh, some more in-depth work. So um, I think that's gonna be critical for us going forward. We'll have, you know, reinterpretation on historic data that we'll be able to, you know, uh, use to identify high priority drill targets, uh, as well as, you know, continuing to take a look at the carbonate replacement deposit potential that we have around Tungstonia, where, you know, we have those existing vein sets that extend out into, um, uh, favorable host rock that's never been really tested. And so we're kind of taking a look at that with the geophysical methods and surface sampling and, and, and just geological uh, surface exploration. So over the next quarter, there'll be, you know, hopefully, you know, a lot of really good news that we can, that we can put out and, and show um, progress. Your trading symbol is quite cunning. Can you explain to our audience about your trading symbol and also Spartan Metals, why you named your company Spartan Metals? <laughs> Yeah, so so the the trading symbol W, of course, is the is the chemical symbol for for tungsten. And when we were putting the company together, uh, it was a very conscious effort that we wanted to make sure that the foundation was tungsten. Uh, but then we also wanted to make sure we had the exposure to the other critical metals, so that you know we had uh, you know we didn't have all of our eggs in one basket, so to speak. But that being said, uh, tungsten is 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 the major focus of the company, uh, and it will be going forward. The, the name Spartan is, uh, is kind of unique. Um, you know, for us, it's actually a, a personal nickname of mine. So it was uh, something where I could put a, put a bit of a personal stamp on the company when we named it. Well, Brett, thank you so much for introducing us to Spartan Metals. We look forward to having Jack Lipton do your next interview. And for everybody else out there looking for more information on Spartan Metals, please go to the following website. Thank you, Brett. Thanks, Tracy.